what a selfless act all the way through. And so if I can just have, just give a tiny bit of, of me, <laughs> um, that's a, it's a easy thing to do for me. Giving back and paying it forward. How community members are honoring fallen deputy Dom Collada. Many people are looking for ways to give back in honor of Deputy Collada. The city of Edgewood, where he ran patrols, has partnered with Bloodworks Northwest for a memorial blood drive. King 5's Kyle Greenberg explains how people can donate. It's sad whenever an officer dies anywhere, right? But when it's here, you know, that, that hits a little harder. Looking for a way to give back to a Pierce County deputy who gave it all. Lori Boss made an appointment to donate blood. What a selfless act all the way through. And so if I can just have, just give a tiny bit of, of me, <laughs> um, that's a, it's a easy thing to do for me. The city of Edgewood police, where Deputy Dom Collada would patrol, says it has a goal of 50 people donating blood in honor of Deputy Collada, who was killed while serving a high risk warrant in Spanaway. The department partnered with Bloodworks Northwest to host a memorial blood drive, which inspired Lori to make an appointment. What other thing can you do that's free and you can literally save somebody else's life? Bloodworks Northwest says its current blood supply is considered critically low. People can make an appointment at any Bloodworks Northwest location between now and April 23rd. At the appointment, mention the donor code DOM to participate in the Memorial Blood Drive. Something wonderful coming out of a tragedy such as this. So um, we're really thankful that we can be included in this. Lori didn't know the deputy, but believes he cared about donating as Deputy Collada was a registered organ donor. Gosh, he gave us everything. Plus, he saved lives even after he was no longer with us. And so it was just such a easy, like I said, it was a no brainer. It was an easy decision to make. She's scheduled to donate blood this Friday and asking friends to join her. Um, I have one gal that wants to go down on Tuesday and so, but she's never donated. So I'm like, I'll go with you, you know, I'll go down there and you know, woohoo, <laughs> you got this. <laughs> Callie Greenberg, King 5 News. Tomorrow, flags will be lowered to half staff at all state facilities in honor of Deputy Kalana. Governor Inslee issued that directive today. Law enforcement from all around the state and the country will also gather to honor his legacy. The public is being asked to line the procession route before the service. It begins at the Washington State Fairgrounds right about 11 o'clock. The main stretch of the procession is on 112th, ending at the Church for All Nations. The public can also view the service from the Champion Center. Our live coverage begins at 11 a.m. for the procession and coverage of his celebration of life beginning at 1 p.m.